Welcome into the Nesson Digital Studios. Courtney Cox here with Pat Mackesy, which means it is time to do a little bit of a car review. Today we're going to talk a lot about SUVs. Uh, the Nissan Armada is a little bit of a price discount if you're looking for a full-size SUV. So in your mind, is this car worth it with the lower price? I think it is if you're willing to compromise in some areas. The the reason for the or a big reason for the price difference is that it doesn't have many available safety features, advanced safety features. It's important. It is because a lot of manufacturers have those now, and Nissan's been promoting that Nissan Safety Shield for a while, but it's not available on the Armada, um, so that's a, a big strike against it. As far as infotainment, though, it's really comparable to what other cars have. It has uh, headrest displays in the middle row. It has a big touchscreen up front. And then also in the middle row, the third seat folds down and you have sort of a storage compartment slash armrest for the two people sitting there, which is nice. And that's something that some SUVs that are in that class have, some don't. So it kind of gives it an advantage. And towing capacity, it's right around where all the other ones are. So it really just seems like it's those advanced safety features that you're paying less for. All right, now let's compare two different brands, a, a Subaru and a Volkswagen. Two cars that I think a lot of people, like if you're a Subaru person, I think you're also kind of a Volkswagen person yeah. and vice versa. They're in that same category, but we're gonna, we're gonna pair up two of their cars in particular. Yeah, so the, the Tiguan and the, or sorry, Tiguan Limited, there's a difference between the two now, and the Subaru Crosstrek are same size right about, and they both start around 21,000, but when I was looking at them, I kind of wanted to compare apples to apples, and the Subaru has all-wheel drive standard, so you have to go for the Tiguan Limited with the all-wheel drive, which brings it up to 23. And then because of that, you can look at the Subaru, which is the premium trim, which brings the price up a little bit too. But it looks to me like the Subaru, you get a lot more for your money right away. And you also have a lot more available features after the fact because Subaru has that eyesight technology that, that it promotes with its advanced safety features as well. And you can get that on the Crosstrek. You can't get anything of the sort on the uh, Tiguan. And then as far as towing capacity, the Subaru has a 1,500 pound towing capacity, which isn't great, but the Volkswagen doesn't even come with a trailer hitch standard. So you have to spend more for that to even get it close, which is a big strike against it. It has more power. One thing that might, people might not like about the Subaru that I think I like is that it comes standard with a six-speed manual. So even with that though, it gets better fuel mileage than the Volkswagen does with an automatic. And then if you opt for the automatic, it goes up even more. Interesting, the first point you made about the all-wheel drive. Obviously, we're in the Northeast, so that's very important for us. Yeah. But I wonder, like, if you're in California, if you're in Arizona, like, does that really matter? No. Yeah, I mean, it's funny you mentioned Arizona. I was actually out there fairly recently, and that was one thing I noticed was that there was a lot more pickup trucks than I was expecting because you see them around here all the time, but that's typical because a lot of people get them so that they can do work all year round. Right. Out there, it just seemed unnecessary.